since I have uh, read your book uh, and being a dermatologist, uh, now um, I tend not to recommend sunscreens anymore to my patients. So they ask me, uh, wh what should I use? And of course, uh, I recommend them uh, wearing this kind of UPF, ultraviolet protection factor clothing, hats, uh, t-shirts, swimwear, and so on. Um, yeah. But next to that, uh, are there any kind of sunscreens, maybe with minerals and it's that people can use? And if this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe so you can learn more about fitness and nutrition, hormones and anti-aging, all this to optimize your life overall. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Oh yeah, yeah. I personally use uh, zinc sunscreens, 20% zinc. And then I make sure all the other ingredients are real good. And there's a lot of good options now. I mean, they have the spray versions of it. They've got the lotion versions. But it has to, it has to have zinc, I think, to really be effective. Um, but like you said, I completely agree. I, I've bought sun, uh, you know, a sun shirt, a long sleeve sun shirt, and it's really cool and comfortable and it's light color so it doesn't heat up. I literally wear the sun gloves when I go fishing. They just have little, you know, the fingertips are cut off. And then, and then I even wear a hat that has a neck uh, protector from the sun. So I just go full out with that. But you know how it is, you're going to end up swimming or something, spending a long day out in the sun. It's good to have some of that zinc sunscreen around, I think. The problem here in Europe is that most um, sunscreens with minerals contain next to the zinc also uh, titanium. But I already understood from another video with you that, it, that that is a problem as well. Yeah, I'm not a fan of titanium. And, you know, there's some published studies showing problems there, but there's not a lot. But we, I have data from the Mayo Clinic on studies that we've actually done. We haven't published yet, but sh just showing cells building up titanium inside of them. So it blocks a bunch of natural processes inside the cells. And so it doesn't kill the cells, but it's gunking up the cells. It's building up inside the cells. So it's causing dysfunctions of some type and it's not well characterized. So it's one of those things that's probably going to come out in the next 10 years and then people are going to get more and more concerned about titanium. Or you can just basically avoid it now and be ahead of the curve, you know, instead of waiting until we finally realize how bad it actually is. You know, you can kind of trust the research that's going on at the front lines in my lab and things like that that it's pretty clear there's an issue. It's not exactly clear what, the, how bad the issue is yet, but I agree. Like zinc is natural, you know, use zinc. That's, that's not really a, a concern. And hopefully you can find something in Europe with zinc, <laughs> just, just zinc. Yeah, you should. Uh, yeah, yeah, you really have to look for it, but there are some companies and I try to uh, give those names out to uh, my patients now.